To start with, we have the first blockchain movie. This is a very interesting connection because director, film producer, entrepreneur, and he's also a bar owner. Jack Shu, he's created this scenario so he can put together the online and the physical experience. He's going to talk about what he did, how he did it, and in conversation with producer Gary Zhang and also Asia Bureau Chief of Billboard, Rob Schwartz. So welcome them on stage. Okay. Hello everyone, uh, I'm the founder and the CEO of SelfToken, and also the director of the film, The Last Thieves. Uh, many people ask me why I want to make a film about blockchain and not a more exciting or on-chain technology, such as AI, big data, VR, the ones you have seen on Netflix series, The Black Mirror. And the main reason is that I don't want to make another sci-fi film. I want to create a new type of entertainment, a new type of technology, a film that can create, that can integrate virtuality and reality. And this very film, The Last Thieves, is a film that is integrated the blockchain technology in creating an immersive entertainment experiences to its viewers. And maybe there is some people is question about what is so-called immersive entertainment. But before I dive in, I want to share about my perspective about blockchain technology, since that is why I step on this stage and is what inspired me to direct this film. Blockchain technology is a very fascinating technology that changed the way we view about currencies. That changed the way about we view communities, even changed the way about crowdfund. And it started to transform the way we approach financial models. Since the birth, the creation of the Bitcoin and Ethereum five to 10 years ago, we haven't seen any life-changing blockchain project. But however, what exists is already enough because it can prove two things. One, there can be a borderless and universal currencies. Two, with the decentralized mechanisms, entrepreneurs can are able to revolutionize the traditional industries. And for those reasons, I want to create a new form of entertainment, an entertainment ecosystem, a system that can bring a better content and bring an immersive experiences to its viewers. And I believe that in the future of entertainment, it will rely on three framework. One, sorry. Two, interaction. Three, community. Once there is a good story and experiences can create where people interact both virtuality and reality and forming to a focused community. And I believe that that will be the core of philosophy in the future of entertainment. But this framework is really hard to achieve. So that we only see the successful Hollywood movie can head to the framework, such as um, Marvel, Star Wars, or another big IPs that can garner the audience and build up communities and hit the box office number. Because the audience, rather to spend 10 US dollars to watch a movie that is produced by the budget about 400 million US dollars instead of a movie that is produced by one to two million US dollars. But today, we solve the problem with the film financing through blockchain technology. We create a cryptocurrency that names self to create a sharing model and allowing all content creators 
and fans and supporters and investors to work together and get reward from the ecosystem, from the community we have built up together. And we also can use this, encourage, this system to encourage people to go into the theater. And also, it can increase the retention of the fans' love. And then, the most important thing is that we are going to make the story come true together. Just like the film, The Last Thieves, the main character in the film creates self-token in the movie world. But in the real world, we also create a self-token and make it come true together. We are not only telling a story. We are not only making a film. We are going to integrate virtuality and reality to build up a community that is based on the currency that come from our movie. And that is what so-called immersive entertainment. An, eco an entertainment ecosystem, a self economy, a new way to tell story, to make interaction, and to build our own community. And through this ecosystem, we even build, out, build up our own bar in Taipei, and it is also a skin from our movie. And we also use the self as a payment system in the bar. And now, let's enjoy the teaser of the world's very first blockchain movie and immersive entertainment movie. The last steps. 讲到区块链这个去中心化的技术，区块链这个区块链其实很简单。举例来说，我把一笔钱存到了银行，银行把我的钱偷偷的借给别人，以赚取中间的投资报酬。例如，建商，建商赚了钱之后，会以税收的方式把钱交给了政府，再连本带利的把钱还给了银行。如果现在我们去银行，我们会发现其实金库里面根本没有这么多钱。现在全世界的政府都在负债，所谓的高房价其实都只是虚幻而已。这个时候，你觉得你的钱会在哪里呢？到底什么是区块链？就是把这些不透明的杯子全部换成透明的，这样你永远可以知道自己的钱在哪里，钱永远属于你。不会被别人偷走，是吗？我们怎么开始？先像我一样，学会说一个动人的故事吧。Good job, Jack. Thank you, Rob. Hey, I'm Rob Schwartz, uh, Asia Bureau Chief of Billboard Magazine. We're going to have a nice conversation. Everyone, you met Jack. I'm also with Gary Sen, a renowned producer here in Hong Kong. So um, maybe, Gary, you can introduce yourself briefly. Hi, I'm Gary. Uh, it's nice to be here. So it's our first teaser in the world, just showing you guys exclusive. So hope you guys enjoyed. I think uh, let's start with you, Gary. You're, you've produced a lot of films, a lot of films about businesses and stuff like this. Maybe you can give us your thoughts on producing the first blockchain movie. Yo, okay. Uh, 对我来说，其实呃、uh, ，blockchain 就是这个 movie 的一个背景。但真正其实这个故事在讲的是一个人性，一个关于年轻创业家的一个故事。而且这个年轻创业家在我们的主角里面，其实跟 Jack， 我们的导演，其实他有很多他的真实人生经历放在这个电影里面。而我觉得对我来讲，这很特别的是，一个年轻世代想要怎么样用一个新的技术告诉这个世界，其实是可以扭转的。Uh, as for me, blockchain is only the、uh, background of the story, and what it attracts me the most is how they connect with humanity. And in this movie, the the main character like really reflects a lot of real life of Jacks、uh, as an entrepreneur.、Uh, so uh, what is make special is that. Uh, it, tell, it reflects and how、uh, a young entrepreneur want to change the world with the blockchain technology. Right, right. Cool. Well, let's throw it back to Jack. I mean, you're an entrepreneur, a bar owner.、Uh, you know, you've done so many different things. A director. So,、uh, why did why did you want to do this project? Right? Can you share your story about his, how this project started? 
Okay. Um, because I, uh, I don't know that everybody knows about the film industry in Taiwan. Uh, to make a film in Taiwan is really, really difficult because just as I give a, a, the, the speech, um, uh, Taiwan there has a 400 million US dollars for the film market cap, but only less than 5% that belongs to the local film. So I'm trying to figure out a way that can shoot the film for a lifetime. But it is really, really hard. And I was born at a science park in the Taiwan at Xingqiu. And I started to think about if there is anything that technology can do to improve the film industry. And then suddenly, I talked to my brother, uh, who is based on the uh, United States. And he told me about the Bitcoin. And he told me about the uh, blockchain technology. Uh, it's around 2014. And then I say, wow, it's a really, really cool stuff. And it may be the solution to create another kind of entertainment ecosystem that can help me to raise some money and it can help me to encourage people to go into theater to watch our movie and then to create a community that can support me to shoot a movie for a whole lifetime. So that's why I do the blockchain movie and then I being a director and being an entrepreneur. And for bartender, it's a habit. Yeah. So I like to drink a lot, and then also I love the uh, film that um, show up at bar. So it's my habit. Right, <laughs> right. And yeah. we know in Taiwan there's a really active nightlife. People yeah. love to go out, especially in Taipei. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I'm just going to interject here. Uh, I think you guys all know on your phone you have the Slido app. Uh, the Slido option on the Rise app. You can type in some questions. It'll appear on the screen here, and uh, we can ask them to our distinguished panel. So if you open your phone, the app, the Rise app, you can find the Slido option. Um, let's, let's bring the throw it back to Gary. Uh, you've you've uh, worked with a lot of um, you know, people. How does uh, it compare working with uh, Jack as a director? Well, 我的经验的关系所以我可以教导很多新导演在拍戏在拍第一部电影时候给予他们很多经验上的帮助但这一次其实因为这个不是同时是个导演他同时还是一个区块链公司的老板还是一个爸的老板所以其实在这个过程之中
Facebook to, to issue its own cryptocurrency because it's supposed to be a global currency and it is the power for the government, not for an industry. Right. So I think it will be the issue that we will debate for. But in the future world with the internet, we can have more power for our crowd, for our community. So maybe the next step, next step the economy will base on community instead of country. So I don't know if the future is going to happen or not, but it's a story and it's a question that I want to debate with. Right, right. Yeah, it's evolving yeah. situation. Yeah. yeah. It looks like we have some uh, great questions from our audience, so thank you for using the Slido app. How about uh, Ivan asks, um, how is the blockchain tech actually used here? How many tokens will be created? And Will it just be for the movie project or it's going to be for a, a wider uh, you know, usage? Either of you can answer the question. Okay, I will answer the question first and yeah. then that Gary to right. answer more. And I will ask the question about the first one. How is the blockchain tech actually used here? Uh, I use blockchain technology to raise, my, to raise the fund for the movie shooting. And it's not about ICO, it's a, not, it's a kind of crowdfund. And uh, also use the ERC721 uh, uh, to create a non-fungible token for the movie correct, uh, to the movie character and then build out its, um, how to say it? it's a card, character card. And it's built out the first um, vir uh, virtual identity for the movie world. So that's the two things that I uh, used the blockchain tech and already used in here. And how many tokens are created? Uh, we created um, two, 200 million, 200 million token. And then some for each movie project. We will uh, continually work with Gary and then looking forward to more about the uh, film in the Asia, as including the Taiwan movie, the Thailand movie, and then also the movie that come from the Asia anywhere. And we hope to build up a community, just like I say, I want to build up, uh, bring out more original content with a community that will support the content uh, sustainably develop. 我觉得对我来讲终极的目标嘛，我希望有一天Self-Token可以做出一个project，是从Day well, the ultimate goal is that they want the, the people who have token to uh, decide uh, how, how you want to uh, make the story goes, like who is the director and how, how is the casting and how is the storyline goes. Wow, yeah, so much more interactive. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, so, so someone anonymous wants to ask anonymously, um, it's a wider question, but you have any thoughts on content and digital data rights being managed by blockchain? So I'll throw it to you guys, and of course, this is also my area of expertise, so yeah. I'll, I'll add after if you have any thoughts on that. Okay, uh, because this, uh, this question is a little bit difficult, but I will try my, b try my best to answer that in English. Okay. Uh, well, we have a translator if you prefer okay, okay. to Okay, okay. So, yeah. because uh, this question is a little bit professional, it's tricky, so, yeah. Yeah, so I will try to answer that in the Mandarin. Uh,我觉得区块链当中有一个非常重要的事情，就是当我们在做数位版权管理的时候，因为其实在上一代的internet，呃，应该说这一代的internet的时候，我们其实并没有办法传递所谓的版权和虚拟价值。但是在blockchain出现了之后,我们开始可以去做所谓的虚拟版权的交易,包含是电影,包含是音乐,甚至包含是画作,任何艺术形式的虚拟版权,它现在都是可以被储存而且交易的。同时,艺术的形式也从类
<laughs> um, yeah, it's a little bit hard, but I, 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 tr I try to make it in, in, in English okay, because okay. Uh, the internet we have right now, uh, we cannot deliver and uh, transform the copyrights with uh, real, real value right. because just like music, uh, we, if I'm a creator, I'm a songwriter, I cannot actually get the reward that I should have in the in the industry right, right, used to right, uh, right. the most of the fee will go into the maybe iTunes or maybe other industries right now in the or internet even world. not collected in some yeah, cases yeah that's right but with blockchain technology we can distribute the copyrights in a different way and that is very very important because right now we use digital uh, item uh, digital tools to create our art art creation like a movie like a music like any other things so I think that blockchain can help to, uh, oh, the question is gone, to help to protect the copyrights and that everyone to have a part of copyrights and to make a community. Just like a um, decentralized system, I have a part of the copyright of the music, a part of copyrights of the film, a part of copyrights of the pant. And then when it's going to distribute it, I can get some reward. And then that's will encourage it. Uh, if I'm a fan, there is a singer, and I want to buy and uh, her, I want to support his creation earlier, and then I can do it and have the real reward from it. Right. So I'll answer from the perspective of the music industry. This has been a huge topic in the music industry. This uh, question has appeared on many conferences around the world. And basically, from my perspective, I just think there's a huge gap between the ideal, which would be blockchain, and the reality now, which is that you know the content is managed on hundreds and hundreds of different sites and systems, and to unify it all under blockchain would basically have to be done by one company or a bunch of companies working together. And who is going to do that? How is it going to be decided? Who actually implements that is the gigantic literally like $100 billion question. So if the industry could get together and make that decision either yeah. in film or in music or for all you know, digital content, that would be fantastic. But I don't really see it happening anytime soon, unfortunately, basically. So I want to ask one more question. It actually disappeared from here, but I think it's a very important question. Um, the question is, how will you market the movie and uh, how can somebody get a self-token? Okay, I think uh, the first question will be Gary to answer it. How do you market the movie? Oh, okay. This movie is really special because in Taiwan, there is a movie that is connected to the world. It is connected to the world. It is connected to the world. So now this movie is not only connected to Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore, and other countries. Actually, we are also connected to the world. We are connected to the world. 有名的厂商希望像是 OTT 平台，像是 Amazon 或是 Netflix， 可以去买这个片子，然后希望有天的时候可以让全世界的人都看得到这个片子。Well, uh, recently we don't have a lot of Taiwanese movie like sales to the world and uh, follow the the global chains. And uh, hopefully uh, in the future we can have some of the platform like uh, Amazon and or um, Netflix to uh, uh, have this movie on. Yeah, and we also do some really cool stuff in the movie, just like we cooperate with the coin market cap, and also a payment system that called Compondi, and also collaborate with lots of uh, blockchain industries, uh, uh, in, uh, the, the, the partner. And then also we are going to have more exchange and when our token to going on to exchange, and I, we hope that in Korea, Japan, and other places in the worldwide will focus on this movie. And then also the question is mentioned about uh, where can we get self-token. Right, right. And then that is a very important thing is that we did not do any ICO anymore and we haven't do any ICO before. And how we uh, let people get self-token, there will be two ways. One is you are our crowdfund fans because we will give you our character card that is based on ERC721. And then there will be an experience will going up and then you can level up your character card and then use self-token to buy the drinks in the, our bar and then go into the theater and to go to 
anywhere that we, our partner where is. And then there is second way that is you are going to share our teaser, share our trailer, and then encourage people go into the theater to watch our film, and then also uh, collaborative uh, activity in your school. And then I will give you the, we will give you the self token to encourage you to uh, help us to get hit the box office number. Right. Yeah, right. that will be the this two way. Right. Right. And um, sorry, maybe I missed it, but to purchase the token, you can do it directly, or you uh, do it through a, an exchange, or. Okay. Well, we will we will launch our DAP. We will out launch our DAP at August, and then you can purchase. Uh, it's not called purchase. I will call that donate. Right. It's something like a crowdfund page, uh, and then you will okay, donate, okay. and then we will directly distribute our token into Got your it. wallet. And then the DAP is called self DAP, and then that will including about the seven to one the Nomadro token, self token, and a map, and lots of entertainment experiences, and that you go into the immersive entertainment ecosystem. Wow, great! Yeah. Thank you. Well, I'm afraid we're out of time, but that was really informative. Thank you so much, Jack, Gary, thank you. Sandra. Cheers. Let's give them a big round of applause. Audience, thank you for your questions. Thank you. Thank you.